the Rich Coats Maiden is next at two and a half mile maiden hurdle. This time, Fall of the Judge, Joshua Sutherland at the top. Seven Towers, Martin Leland, Beach Breeze, David Hooley, Orange Cassidy, Matt Cooper, Thunderous Need, Darren Thompson, and Victorian typewriter, Martin Keynes. A field of six. Placing the starter, and away we go. And Fall of the Judge, and Seven Towers, distributing the lead with Victorian typewriter. As they sort themselves into racing formation and head towards the first of ten flights. I'm going to take in this one, the field separated by just three lengths at the moment. And the purple and white stripes of seven towers. Just about in the lead. We're on Victorian typewriter. And they're all safely over the first of the ten. Seven towers just showing from four to just second. And Beach Breeze at the inside in the purple jacket. As they get over the second, so they're all safely over. Open and white stripes of seven towers in front, and the black and red hoops in second. Four of the Judge Orange Cassidy in the red jacket over on the far side is next. And the leader stood right off that hurdle and did well to get away with it. And managed to stay on his feet. Joined though by four of the judges, they pass the winning post on the big stands and they'll head out there for a complete circuit of the track. And Seven Towers is in the lead by about a length and a half to two lengths now, despite that mistake earlier on. Four of the judges second, Orange Cassidy and Beach Breeze are sharing third. And Thunderous Need and the White Sleeves is fifth as they get to the fourth. Which they all get over nicely. The back marker, Victorian typewriter for Martin Cairns. He's probably still celebrating his win earlier. We didn't expect to get a win quite so quickly after being away for so many seasons, but it's seven towers. Who's clear out the fifth? We're on four of the judge second. A thunderous need has now come through on the outside in the third. Then Beach Breeze and Orange Cassidy. And two lengths back to Victorian typewriter, who's the back marker ahead. Eight to ten lengths off the leader. Over flight six, and the leader jumped that nicely. It's now opened up by a good five lengths to Thunderous Need in second. And Beach Breeze in third. And Orange Cassidy. Fall of the Jungles just dropped back a little bit. And Victorian Tottenham is getting significantly closer, so pace may have just dropped off a little bit. Seven Towers. Going to lead them into flight number seven and the final mile. The lead of about four lengths to fall of the judge in second, and Beach Breeze in third, and Thunderous Need in fourth. So they get to the seventh. Should be going up any time now. Normally quite close to the fences, aren't they? We're just past that fence. So not why there wasn't a hurdle there as well, I'm not sure. Anyway, over it we go, and the leader was a bit slow. Four of the judges now within half a length in second. Beach Breeze is two lengths back in third, and then Thunderous Need is fourth. Then Orange Cassidy and Victorian Titanwright are bringing up the rear. They've got three more flights of hurdles to take. And Seven Towers continues to lead, but only by a length or so. Four of the judges looks to be going really well, so too does Beach Breeze in third. Thunderous Need is under a bit of pressure back in fourth. Then Orange Cassidy and Victorian Typewriter went down to the final four furlongs and the final three flights. And Seven Towers is kicked on for home and opened up by three lengths again to Fall of the Judge in second and Beach Breeze back in third. Then Thunderous Need is in fourth trying to run on. They come down to this third last flight then now and Seven Towers skips over it in front but a quicker jump by the two in second and third and Beach Breeze is the first one to try and come with a challenge. Thunderous Need is also running on well but it's still Seven Towers hanging on Grimly into the lead, coming down towards his second last flight. Seven Towers over in front from Beach Breeze in second. Four of the judges in third. Thunderous Need continuing to make ground. They're coming down towards the final flight now. And Seven Towers is still two lengths up. But Beach Breeze looks to be going well over the final flight. They go and Seven Towers jumped in well and got away from it well. And Seven Towers is going to make it a pillar to post win. And up towards the line, Seven Towers is going to take it from Beach Breeze in second. And four of the judges and Thunderous Need Orange Cassidy. And Finally, 
Victorian typewriter. So seven towers. Looked like it was going to be picked off at any point up that long straight, but stuck on well. So seven towers wins it for Martin Lee and Beach Breeze for David Hooley was second. Four of the judge Joshua Sutherland third. Thunderous Need Darren Thompson fourth, and Orange Cassidy for Matt Cooper was fifth.